Hello there. Welcome to the Scouse Culture Cast. I'm Peter Erklang. You're with the Liverpoolian. Nice to have you. We're going to be chatting in today's episode, which is also coincidentally the first one, about um, what what the Liverpoolian aims to do um, and just stuff that's gone on over the past week or so in the Liverpool City region and, you know, some stuff that might be taking place over the next few days um, as we're coming into a new week. So... I'm Peter Erklang, a local sort of, how can I describe myself, um, Scouse, Scouse culture geek is how I've been described by quite a couple of people, um, and on, re- on repeated occasions by some, and, and so, so, you know, it might be a compliment, it might be an insult, but either way, I, I wear it quite on my sleeve with pride now, so I'm proper made up with it. Hey ho. Um anyway, welcome to the Liverpoolian. Um my website, theliverpoolian.com, aims to sort of just record uh the lifeblood of the city. To be honest with you, it's it's just what what a scouse is up to and can I progressively record more and more of it and just in as many ways as possible, can I write about it? Can I get you know photographs um can i can i can i get videos will i be able to you know you know produce a vlog like sort of a report on the ground do you know create more you know multi-faceted multimedia um article basically with video audio you know chat to people hear hear their stories what they've got to say and yeah it's just i think there's there's a lot of potential that I'm quite excited about, and I think the Scouse Culture Cast is something where it's just going to be chatting about in in the name of the title. It's, it's Scouse Culture every week. Um, so so far it'll be Monday. Um, it'll be released on Mondays, and I'm it might might get jigged around, but but with other podcasts and other um things I've got planned, it's likely to just stay the Monday because I can talk about what happened the previous week and what's coming on across the city region, you know, th- this coming week. So I think rather than it being like a Friday and then it's sort of a wrap up, I think it's more a warm up for the week. So I think that will be um, a nice thing and we'll we'll get it as consistent as I can. Um there are there are other podcasts that will be will be becoming available shortly, such as um the introduction to the Liverpool City region, which I did the pilot of last year. And um, people seem to like that. So that will be going ahead with a full eight episodes um, over the coming weeks. Um, that should, so that should be coming out. You'll be able to listen to that um, on, you know, through, through the website as well as on, you know, different mediums like like through the Liverpudlians YouTube channel and um, through the through the SoundCloud or any, you know, any way you can generally listen to the stuff or you'll, you'll be able to follow the links. Um, but if you're ever in doubt, it's just the Liverpudlian.com. So there's gonna be quite quite a few quite a bit of content coming. Um it's been quite an exciting week or so for the city. Um we had the week before, let's just see, I'll just um Leaf managed to oh um let's just get that up. I don't know why I'm looking it up, because I know what, what happened anyway. So there was um Leaf on Bold Street, um everyone's well, a lot of people's favourite um, tea room managed to find some quite interesting artifacts in the ceilings and in its walls. Um, the the renovating the mezzanine men- mezzanine area, <laughs> sorry, pronunciation there. And as they were refurbishing it, um, a local contracting company from Halton, um, in one of the boroughs of the city region, and um, they came across. Um, a menu, and it was dated 1913, so it was over 100 years old. So they went and told the staff at Leaf, and they were rather taken back by it. Anyway, they did some more careful digging round um, behind the walls and the ceilings as they were, you know, trying to refurbish and improve it and make more, even further use of the space, which they already get a lot out of, and, and I'm looking forward to seeing how, how it unravel, you know, unroll, un- unravels, yeah. Yeah, um anyway, um so they they managed to um find 
these this menu then there was like this sort of advertisement um for the cafe it was called the yarman cafe prior to it becoming leaf um and i'd like to do some more research into that because i'm not sure if there was um, a business between the yarman and, and leaf taken over but, or, or whether the building was um empty for for a while prior to to leaf acquiring like tenancy there sort of thing but it was um they found they found a, a cap that um the waiters would have used um with with yarman on it written on it and um yeah, menu with with the daily specials and something that I noticed, which I thought was quite interesting, was it massive printed menu, at like um the folded over, and it said daily. So it was either the menus, at least from my interpretation of that, is that it was either daily, or weekly, um, menus or or possibly monthly, but like daily daily you know um menu for the month, but that's a lot of effort. They've gone to a lot of effort there, and it was a high, like a really high quality, high end tea room, which is essentially Leaf, and they've sort of, without even realizing it, that they're like the Yarman Cafe of of this this century sort of thing, which is I think is fascinating and amazing, and yeah, and 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 there's been there's been quite a few um events that Leaf have held as well. That since we're talking about Leaf, um in the Wirral Borough of the city region they had at the west kirby um at the it was previously it was a viking it's on it's black horse hill let's just leave west kirby I've got my computer in front of me um yeah black horse hill 19 black horse hill in west kirby and um, they had a like a craft fair was it it was i'm sure it was a craft fair let's see i've got my website up in front of me let me see. Yeah, it was an indoor craft market, and it was it was fabulous. I went, and it was really great. They had lots of interest and stuff, and um, you know they had lovely lovely food that you can buy, and lots of craft um you know original local stuff made by by local people. And it was it was fantastic, and you can get you know, um coffee and cake and tea there, and it was and it was just lovely, and I think they made a a fantastic opportunity of that, and it's it's great. It's you know so much car park and space, and um. It's just it's a really good, really good place, and the the craft fairs were great. So I think they've had two the um, I think one each, the past weekend. Anyway, but that that that's that's something as it's worth keeping an eye out, and I'll be writing about if you know they have more and and what have you. Um, but yeah, and then something very very special happened over the weekend this weekend, and I think it was the twenty first Friday the twenty first, yeah. The roller room by the Invisible Wind Factory happened, and it was very, very exciting. So it was like the media press launch. So I went with a friend, and it was a great time. We were able to have a go at the roller skating. We were greeted very, very um, wonderfully, and the staff were lovely, and the atmosphere was outstanding. Like, it was genuinely phenomenal. Like, the, it was just the whole... The whole show was wonderful. It was genuinely a good experience. It was like greatest showman level, like the the, the prep that they put into it, and that just shows because it's by people behind the Casmir and Casmir Gardens. Um, so yeah, it just it just it just shows their expertise as as translated perfectly to their newly unveiled roller room, and it's basically like a massive permanent wooden floor for the year, and. You can just rock up, you know. Well, I think you you best book them because it's going to be very busy. So you can once you've booked, you can then rock up, and you can literally just just get your skates on, your all the padding, um, and have a good go, um, and it was just it was just really nice time. And um, there's there's a great by Invisiburger, um, which are residents at the Invisible Wind Factory's roller dome roller room. They they are serving wonderful vegan food. There's obviously catering for everyone, but that I think their speciality is proper great vegan scran, and it's just it was just a fantastic, really lovely time. And me and my mate had a good go at skating. I was I felt I was quite embarrassing. I was more embarrassing her than I was embarrassing, and I was embarrassing myself. But she was like, you know, we're gonna I'm gonna make you be able to skate and i went round a few times I, I managed to go round the boards um i don't know let's say 
seven or eight times where there were quite a few people there that made me feel I was rather um, behind, shall we say. I was rather inept at roller roller skating. But I genuinely feel so... It, I felt so comfortable there and it was really relaxing and lovely. I'd, I'd probably, like, definitely go again. Not probably, definitely go again. So... Um, they have five, what is it? What, what, why can't, why am I tripping over my word? They have five events on every week. So across five nights. So Wednesday, it's like, I think it's beginners. So you can go learn, rock up, you know, learn the basics and develop your skills. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, it's like, go with your mates, have a fun time, party, get some nice food, get some lovely drinks. Obviously, try and have the drinks after you've had a go at the skating. So, you know, there's furthering, preventing the injury, which which was something I was concerned about. My mate, she was like, oh, we'll just go. And if you fall, you fall. It won't hurt that badly. And I was like, well, you know, you're good and you're not falling. So you're not the one that's going to be hurt. But anyway, um, it, it was just it was banging. But um, and then on Sundays, I think it's the um, Liverpool's roller beds. They're the, like the, the proper like uh, Liverpool roller blading club. And they they are, I think, doing lessons on Sundays as well. So I've, I've got I've got quite a few articles on it and, and quite a few articles on stuff Leafs up to as well. But if you want to if you want to check out the Liverpoolian.com and you can just search roller roller drone and um, you'll find plenty of articles on it. And I've got one literally. It's like, here's what's on in May and June at Liverpool's roller drone at the Invisible Wind Factory. So there's plenty, plenty that you can get involved with. And it was just, it was a really great time. I was made up, I was invited, and it was just lovely. And it was very fun. And I, and it, and I even though there was plenty of rails in that, so I still felt safe. But definitely, like, go with someone who has a bit of a hand-eye coordination. I don't even know if that's the right saying. But go with someone who definitely knows what's going on, or go and book one of the... Um, Wednesday sort of introductory level so you can brush up on your skills and then you can go on a Friday night and be like hey mates guess guess what I, I'm I'm actually boss at this and you know you 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 are all pretty shocking and it's because <laughs> just don't say that you went on the Wednesday before and then you're just showing off all your moves honestly there, were, there was some people there and I don't know if they were professionals or what but their skills were, were next level they were they were insanely good and I was just like, yeah, I'm definitely like just like scuttling along, trying not to fall over, you know, making it from wall to wall and was made up with myself that I'd got from one wall to the other. But it was a really sound time. And yeah, I'll probably I'll probably try and wrap this up now. But the whole, the whole you know, you've got the general gist of it. This is the first episode and it'll be, you know, every Monday, hopefully. And we will you know, keep keep you updated. I'll let you know stuff that's going on across the six boroughs and let you know any exciting news that's going on. And if you've got anything um that you'd like to share with me, just hit me up um through the contact page on the liverpudlian.com and just yeah, because I'd be happy to chat to people, have people on this podcast, talk to them, you know, other projects I've got in the work works, um, limited like sort of series podcast where it's, a, you know, it's a particular subject. So it'll only be like six or eight or 12 episodes. And um, whereas this one, the Scouse Culture Cast, it's going to be more of a, it's a weekly sort of, it's going indefinitely. And it's not like a particular, um, we're only doing three, three of these. It's just going to, you know, build and build and get better and better every week and, you know, cram more stuff into it. And there'll be more I'll try and build it where there's more segments, but I just thought I'll just give it a go and get just get the ball rolling and release this one, and then we'll progressively do it where the segments and you know there's sort of here's what's going on this week, here's what happened last week. Um, if you missed anything, make sure you know you keep you know you listen so you don't miss out in the future. But yeah, um, I've been Peter Air Clang. This is the Liverpudlian, and um, thank you so much for listening. This is the Scouts Culture Cast, and um, if you like, uh, let me know. And um, you can create a Liverpudlian account on the website, you know, keep up keep up to date, get emails, uh, join my newsletter, 
um, and just just keep up to date on all the latest articles and photographs. And if you want to follow me, you can follow me at at the Liverpoolian UK. Not not at the Liverpoolian UK. It's just at Liverpoolian UK. There we go. And you can get all you know great photographs, um, information, links to me, articles, any you know highlights, video stories, and it'll just be you know improving and getting better and better. Um, over time. So thank you very much for listening. And I'll speak to you and see you soon. Toronto.